Yo, it's your boy Shadow of the Android Doctor back again and today I'm going to show you how to route the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. This is real simple to do. So the first thing you'll need to do is download the Galaxy Note 2 toolkit. This is it. I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. So once you've downloaded it, just open it up and follow the on-screen instructions. It's pretty straightforward. Just wait for this camera to focus in. Okay, so where it says, do you want to check for an update, just type no. Type no on your keyboard, then enter. Now where it says, select your phone model and build. You need to check your phone's build. So, go into settings. About device. So there's the build number at the bottom. Mine ends with ALJ1. And as you can see, ALJ1 is an option, which is number 2. So I'm going to press number 2, but yours might end with ALIE. So you'll have to press number 1. So I'm going to go ahead and press number 2. Then enter. So the next step is to install Note 2 drivers on your PC do this first so go ahead and press number one okay so it says make sure your phone is booted fully into Android which it is unplug USB cable if connected and install USB driver pack enable USB debugging in settings developer options so we're just gonna enable USB debugging real quick so Go back into settings, developer options. Okay, so mine's already enabled. USB debugging, make sure it's ticked. So, install Samsung USB drivers. So, I'm going to hit number one on the keyboard and enter. It says if you have Samsung keys installed on your PC it is advisable to uninstall it before installing drivers as it can cause problems with Odin and Flash tools so if you've already got keys installed on your PC just uninstall it I'm just waiting for the notification asking me if I want to install the drivers, hold on. Okay, so I've got a notification. It says Samsung USB driver for mobile phone is already installed on your computer. Do you want to proceed and install anyway so I'm going to select no because I've already got the drivers installed but you'll need to select yes so I'm going to go ahead and select no so once you've selected yes and you install the drivers it takes roughly between 15 to 20 minutes to install the drivers also you'll need to install the Note 2's USB drivers also um, when you're installing them you should get a pop-up notification down here at the bottom right saying um, ADB interface installation and whatever um, you'll get quite a few different pop-ups but the last pop-up should say the phone is ready to use so once you get that pop-up saying the phone's ready to use um, you can go ahead and press number two and go back to the main menu so press number two so once everything's installed, once all the drivers are installed correctly, um, you should see a serial number here. Not this number, but you should see a serial number here. Once you see that serial number, that means all your drivers have installed correctly and you're ready to proceed to the next stage, which is to route the phone. So routing options, we're going to select number two, then enter. 
So what we're going to do now is we're going to select number 3 all in one. This is going to flash the insecure boot image clockwork mod touch and it's also going to root the phone and install busybox. So we're going to choose number 3. Enter. Are you ready to continue? Type yes. Enter. Waiting for USB debugging to be enabled. Well, we've already enabled it earlier, so we're just going to connect the phone to USB real quick. So I'm going to put the camera down. Okay, so the phone's connected to USB. So now the phone's going to go into download mode. And it should also open up Odin. Make sure you read all the instructions on the screen. So Odin's opened up. So what we're going to do now is. Okay so once everything's correct this should be blue. Once all your drivers everything is connected up properly that should be blue so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna look for the tar file which we're gonna flash so you're gonna look for the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 toolkit folder in there you should find the tar file this is it so we're just going to drag and drop it onto the desktop and then close that down. But before we flash before we flash this, we need to make sure that these two boxes are ticked. Auto reboot, F reset time, make sure them two are ticked. And now we're going to look for the tar file. So select PDA. There it is on my desktop boot insecure clockwork mod recovery so click on that and this is how it should look once you've selected it make sure it says clockwork mod n7100.tar at the end if it says that you're good to go so select start And it should say reset this is how it should look and this green bar should be full and the phone should reboot do not unplug the phone just keep it connected we're not done still got something else to do Close that down. Okay, so we can close down Odin. And now it's going to flash clockwork mod recovery. And it's also going to root the phone.
we're just waiting for the device to be detected please be patient it does take a while If it's taking too long just hit the enter key on your keyboard. So now the whole routing process is taking place and Clockwork Mods getting installed and BusyBox. And now it's done the phone's rebooting. So now we're just gonna press X to exit because we're done. Press X and enter. Would you like to donate? Press no. So now we can unplug the phone and check to see if we've got root access. So as you can see now we've got super user on there so the phone is now rooted and we've also got clockwork mod recovery on there. So that's about it for the tutorial guys. Um, if you like the video be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos and stay tuned because I'll be doing tutorials on how to flash custom ROMs, kernels and also how to unroot. So like I said that's it for the video. If you like it do not forget to thumbs it up and subscribe to your boy. I'm out.